Well, I don't know about you, but the last time I was in a battle, 40,000 years ago in the future, it did get pretty bloody. How bloody? Let's find out. Let's go. This is an old space marine I got lying around. Let's cut him up. But first, let's get him the shed. I like to find if I'm gonna drill a hole in a space marine, let's do it outside. Could be argued that it looks like I know what I'm doing, but in truth, I really don't. We need a bigger hole. Big enough, about to do for me. Okay, that arm is in the wrong position, so let's cut him off. And that's disappeared into the ether, never to be found again. Scalpel time. Health and safety, as always, is paramount here. Let's rough this one guy up. Let's tear him apart. Make some holes. Green stuff. Never used this before. So uh, yeah, this will be interesting. It was at this point that someone pointed out to me that I probably should use some sort of wet utensil to help mould this round because it was drying out pretty quickly. So uh, here is that wet utensil. Idea here is he's got his arm blown off, a big hole in the middle of him, some giant missile or bullet. It's blown a hole in the centre of him and sort of taken his arm off for good measure. But that ain't big enough, we need to go bigger. So I've made a rough exploding blood shape here and I'm gonna push it into place using my wet wooden utensil. Once he's pretty firmly fixed, we're gonna drag some sort of shape into this. That's not bad, does it look like a blood spatter? Maybe, maybe. Sculpt is done. If we can get on and paint it, I'm going to use the Duncan Rose paint sets. Start with a dark grey and work my way up from there, getting a little bit lighter, and then we can add a bit of detail and then finally work on the blood. He's primed, ready to go. Black undercoat, white from above. Good old Duncan Rhodes paint sets here. They're actually pretty good. Most of them are decent and they're at least on par, if not better, than some of the Citadel range. First off, great base coat all over his beast. We haven't got to be too neat. We're going to go for two thin coats, water down, slap it all on. Great base coat is done, and I've also let my brush go hard, so um, shit. Bit of silver on the uh, on the eagle crest wing thing. Now onto the red. We're going to give us a nice base coat of a dark red, and then follow that through with some lighter reds before we start adding the blood effect. Whilst that red dries, let's make use of our time and get a nice grey, dark black wash on. Look at the concentration on that guy. Just finding the gaps here, the joints between the armour, filling this in. God, yellow. Yellow is an absolute nightmare to paint and this took about 7,000 coats. By the time I finished, shoulder pad was twice as thick. Here we had a problem, the model fell off a base into the grey paint. Luckily, I was able to salvage it. Quick silver dry brush. Back onto the red. A slightly lighter red now. Not filling the whole shape. And dabbing a bit of it on the armour. First time ever I've tried black stripes. It's not gonna be the last, but I'm not gonna be in a hurry to do it again. It took a while. First two, pretty good. 
The third one, yeah, we'll just move on from that one. As you can see, it's a bit lumpy in the middle, but hey, back onto the yellow, fill in the gaps here. No one will ever know. Well, unless you're watching this and listening to what I'm saying. Hey, it looks okay. And I've done the face. You don't need a face tutorial. There's millions out there, but I've done the face. Face coat, highlight, thank you very much. Lighter red on the outer edges of this blood effect now. Bit of edge highlighting. And here we go. Blood for the blood gods. Slap this on, son, everywhere you can. I'm being a bit careful here, picking out the details on the armor. Ah yes, here's a base I made earlier. Let's drill a hole in his leg, get him on the base. I'm gonna pin him to this base I made earlier. Bit of cork, dry brushing all over. I want the base to be a little bit lighter. Blood effect on the base. And let's have a look at the final reveal. <laughs> 